this is the 10th year of the service and to have it in St Paul's Cathedral which is the iconic religious state centre of London and the United Kingdom I think it's just brilliant and I've been inside and there's lots of families coming in now and it is a really moving event but it's also a, an appreciation of all the work that officers do all over the country and the sacrifices that they sometimes make uh, in order to protect people and serve their country. I'm part of the organising group, so we meet through the year planning the service and drawing all the different practical arrangements together for the service. And my role specifically is drawing the service itself together and writing some of the prayers and deciding on the readings and the liturgy that we're going to use to make it a memorable occasion for all who are attending and one in which they can participate and we hope in the right kind of way be moved by it. little Abigail Phillips there lighting a candle in remembrance of her dad who died just in this last 12 months who could fail to be moved by that with the Home Secretary reading a lesson one of the highest office holders in the land responsible for our peace and security taking part in a service alongside someone whose family have paid the ultimate price for that peace and security it moves me, I hope it moved all who were there and participated and encourages a respect for officers and staff who go out day by day willing to put their lives on the line for each of us. was the founder of the day, it was a loss of one of his colleagues that spurred him into action and drove him to put this date on the diary to make it an annual event and both Joe and Sharon have worked tirelessly over these last 15 years or so in the scenes and behind the scenes to bring this day about every year and it has gone from strength to strength to strength and today's service is just testimony to their commitment over the years. Well, first one was at St Paul's, a very, very different affair in 2004 to today, a tremendous event with well over 2,000 people attending. They ought to be really proud for what they've done and the police service proud of them for having done it.
In a word, awesome. I was delighted how the service went. Uh, the feedback from His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, our patron, was fantastic. Uh, and the people who always take primacy are the relatives, and they thought it was great too. We organised the service for them. They're, they're the reason that we do it, uh, and they were pleased, so I was pleased. It's very poignant because it's my last one. Uh, I wanted to go out with a bang, and both the reception at the Palace of Westminster in the Great Hall and the service at uh, St Paul's Cathedral, the Parish Church of the Empire, were a top draw, and I, don't, I think it'll be difficult to top that. And the fact that you've got every chief constable in the UK that, that come along, together with the Royal Highness of the Prince of Wales, means they've lost me something. Uh, and together with the fact that it highlights the dangers that police officers make uh, every day, if you keep your our community safer. Uh, and uh, the fact that our fallen heroes will never be forgotten. It was nice, to be honest. Uh, the day's obviously evolved and changed in many ways since 3rd of October 2004, when our inaugural service was conducted. Uh, changed in a good way, got bigger, more important, more significant, uh, which is set to continue, I hope. I still feel passionately about the day, and I always will do.